Uh, all right, so we are live. Welcome to another live Korean class uh, by Talk to Me in Korean with me. Okay, 한국은 지금 7시예요. 7시 한 4분, 3분 정도 됐죠. Busy morning for me. Um, <laughs> busy Monday morning for me today. There was so much traffic on the way to the office, so um, I was a little bit worried that I might not be able to make it, but I did. And um, yeah, I had to move some things around in this room. So here I am, three minutes late. Thank you for joining us. So if you're joining this class or if you're watching this live Korean class, after the live session is over, you can rewatch the whole thing. The recorded version will always stay up on YouTube and you can find all the stuff that I type here on the screen in the description of the video and also everything, all the important pieces of information will be found in the first pinned comment below the video. 안녕하세요. 아, 런닝맨 보고 있어요. 런닝맨 재밌죠? 네. 그리고 어 안녕하세요. 지금 벌써 많은 분들이 들어오고 계시는데요. Yeah, I will wait just a little bit more for people to come in. Sad Hak, it's 3.30 a.m. for you. <laughs> Why are you not sleeping? Okay, so people tuning in from Mexico and who else? Uh, and Hana Kim, Orin, Pelin, Tom, Jeff, Okay, so today's topic is going to be, all right, uh, people are tuning in from Brazil, um, the UK, France, Germany, UAE, Egypt. Okay, so we are global, right? We are a global community, community uh, of Korean learners. So today we'll be covering some essential vocabulary about eating. Um, in the previous live session that I did with this book, my daily routine in Korean in which you can learn like a lot of the essential fundamental vocabulary words mainly verbs like to do something to eat to chew stuff like that um, in the previous session I actually covered everything that was in each unit but it um, didn't give me enough time to cover some details so I will pick some um, interesting expressions and cover them and if you have specific questions about like how to say this, how to say that, please let me know. Angelic Te, um, thank you for your sweet message. Um, you help me so much. Just wanted to say thank you in all caps. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you know how to say um, capital letters in Korean? It's uh, so capital letters. So in English, if you type or in the alphabet, if you type in all caps, it's like you're screaming, right? Or you're emphasizing something. You're putting a lot of stress on what you're saying. In Korean, you can't do that, right? There's no capital letters. So what you do is just add a lot of exclamation points. Um, for example, um, this is so good. Something like that. Um, you have to say, 이거 너무 좋아요. Like that. So, of course, you can do the same thing with um, English or other languages, but just letting you know that we don't have capital letters in Korean. So, that's why. Yeah, 대문자. Although you write it like 문자, 문자, you don't read it like that you write it you read it like 문자 문자 대문자 um small letters 소문자 소문자 yeah lower case yeah 소문자 대문자 대문자 소문자 okay ah uh, afra sharwa a uh, 방금 TTYK 영상을 보고 있었어요. <laughs> you were watching our one of our videos and you stopped it to watch me. Okay. 좋아요. Uh, no questions about 대문자, 소문자. 
Oh, both here. Um, is it possible to take um, topic or A3 topic in two months? A3. It depends uh, on what your current level is, but um, unless my my constant advice always, whenever I get asked about topic or for Korean people, TOEIC, TOEFL, like English tests, IELTS, OPIC speaking, whenever I get questions about these tests, um, don't study for the tests alone, okay? Don't just study for the tests. The ideal goal is you just know the language so well that tests can't even stop you. Tests don't bother you. you. If you're so like genuinely good at a certain language, you're bound to get good scores from any test, okay? But if you have like only one month left before you have to take the test, you need the score. There are some methods you can use, of course, and there are some courses and books that will give you a crash course. But I, I always advise to start like one year in advance and then actually get good at it like not to uh, not to brag but you know what the toic test is right toic i never studied for it uh the toefl i never studied for it i just studied english really really like thoroughly and um i became comfortable in this language and i just went to take the toic test just for fun i didn't know how many hours it would take i didn't know I only knew how much it cost me, you know, to register for the test. And um, I, I got a really good, a really high grade or score from the TOEIC, even though I didn't have to study for it because I had thoroughly studied the language. So the same can happen to you, for you as well. So that's the goal, okay? All right. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, <laughs> I'm smart or anything. That's the wrong message, okay? Um, maybe I need more coffee, but yeah, it depends on how you learn, but really, if like, I've, I've met so many learners, English learners, especially in Korea, in person, and Korean learners all, all around the world, right? And out of all the thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people that I have personally met, I have never met a single person who just really, really studied for the test and became good at that language. The same goes for Korean. I've never met anyone who, whose main goal was to score high on topic, 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 and then as a byproduct, they became really good at Korean speaking. It's always the opposite. They love, um, they love the language and they learn it, learn it, learn it and improve it and then just consequently and also coincidentally their topic score is high. So yeah, I'm just telling you, I've never been anyone who only studied for the tests and became good, really good at the language. All right, so guys, are you ready to learn some essential Korean vocabulary? Can you quote me? Yes, you can quote me um, on this. All right. Essential Korean vocabulary for eating. So let me just go over the words that you can see on page 49 of our book, My Daily Routine in Korean. This is, the, this is unit 12 of this book. By the way, if you're new to Talk To Me in Korean, I know... Um, random channels are recommended as you're on YouTube, especially like the live channels, live sessions. So welcome to Talk To Me in Korean. This is where you learn Korean. You can visit our website at talktomeinkorean.com and also take the level test to see what your current level of Korean is. All right. There was a super tag, super comment, super chat comment. Oh, Megan Benjamin. Thank you for the super chat comment. I missed it. And thank you everyone for reminding me. <laughs> um, what dictionary do, uh, do I use? Do you use? I can't find one. Mm, there are many online dictionaries that you can use, but I highly recommend the Naver Dictionary. Naver Dictionary is uh, found at endic, naver.com. 
English dictionary at neighbor.com. Neighbor is the uh, search portal, the biggest one of the biggest search portals in um, Korea. I like the dictionary, like the general features of the dictionary. There are many things you can use. Um, you need to look at all the sample sentences. So there are several sections of sample sentences on neighbor dictionary. And the main text section for the samples, the first main section for sample sentences are from books. So the sentences there are, are uh, more correct and more formal. But the, you have to take all the sample sentences with a grain of salt because use this. Uh, so I highly recommend it, use this, but don't take all the sample sentences that are there as is and use them in real life situations. One, because many, this is actually an English dictionary for Korean people uh, in its essence. They flipped it to utilize it for Korean learners. So that's why there are many textbook sentences like, you know, she, he is often translated to 그녀, 그. Korean speakers never, never, ever say 그녀 or 그 in actual Korean conversations. These words are only used in textbook translations just to refer to she or he. So be careful. And also there are lots of uh, V-Live translation sample sentences. Those are great sample sentences, but in, in some sentences the spelling is wrong. So yeah, just use them as a reference, but always be critical, okay? Um, okay, so good question from Liz. If she and he are not expressed through 그녀 and 그, how do you say it? Um, you don't say it. You don't say it. Or you just say 그 사람, or you just say the title of the person. It's the same um, with how to say you. We have a very detailed video on how to say you in Korean. Um, please go look for that on our YouTube channel. All right, so that's it. Okay, the expressions with uh, eating. Okay, so the unit title is eating and we translated it to 음식 먹기. And let me explain why. And also the, the phrases that I want to introduce are um, because you probably all know the, the verb 먹다. 마시다, you know, 드시다. 먹다 is to eat, 마시다 is. Okay, 먹다 is to eat, 마시다 is to drink, 드시다 is eat or drink, honorific. Honorific. 먹다 can also be drink or liquids. So you probably all know this, so I won't go into too many details about this, but I will also explain some intermediate phrases and expressions that you can learn today. And even beginner learners can also learn these. 잡수시다 is a good one. 잡수시다 is also um, the same as 드시다. Good one. Um, 보누 보누. And um, 밥을 흘리다. 반찬을 놓다. 숟가락으로 뜨다. Okay. How about this one? 밥을 남기다 and 삼키다. Okay, so we will use these expressions as the main key phrases, okay? And then go from there. All right, let me read some comments. Um, Nadia, Lewis, I'm sorry I'm late, but does 젓가락 mean chopsticks? Yes, 젓가락 means chopsticks. And um, Faye, can you explain how to make long Korean sentences at some point? Well, um, you can visit our website at talktomecorean.com and see our curriculum. There are hundreds of ways you can make a sentence long, or you can just type long sentence on the search bar of our YouTube channel and you will find two videos. And we will make more videos on how to make longer sentences in the future, okay? Mm -hmm.
Um, Harish Rajora is talk to me in Korean enough to be efficient in Korean. I believe so. Uh, of course, we have to practice, but we have grammar, vocabulary, expressions. Um, we have some review tests, and also we have more test prep material coming too. So yeah, I believe so. Meant um, for uh, eighty four er. Thank you for the super chat comment of five euros. 안녕하세요, 현우 선생님. I have been using Talk to Me in Korean courses to learn Korean for a few months now and listening to the podcasts you have made along with Kyungwon 선생님. Thank you. Thank you for studying with us and listening to our podcasts. The podcasts are, as you know, they were recorded for like a long time ago and some of the episodes are actually 10 years old, but I'm glad that many people still find the podcast lessons useful. We, at one point, we considered redoing all the podcast lessons, all the audio lessons, but, you know, the content will be essentially the same and it's still a good way to preserve um, the young voice of myself. <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about these expressions. Um, all right. Yeah, uh, okay. Let me go over everything. So keep your questions coming. I will get back to your questions later. Uh, I have a good question about fasting. I'll talk about this. Okay. So, 젓가락. Please repeat after me. 젓가락, 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 but, uh, 젓가락. Although it's 젓가락, when you pronounce it fast, this 시옷 becomes one with 기억. 젓가락, 젓가락. 숟가락. 숟가락 is spoon. 가락 is whatever is usually long. Okay, 가락. So, 머리 plus 가락. So, there are some um, elements that kind of work like glue in these words. 저 plus 가락. 수 plus 가락. In this case, 시옷 is used. In this case, 디귿 is used. Here, 머리, you know, your head has some long, thing co long things coming out, which is hair. So, 가락 is usually something that's long. So, 머리 plus, in this case, here is used. Um, I can't, you know, there's no good explanation for why here is used here, why, you know, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, over time, it became... 머리카락, 머리카락. And as you know, 손 is your hand, and the little branches coming from your hand is 손가락. Here, because 손 is already ending with the last consonant, 받침, you don't have room for another glue material, so it's just like that. 손가락, although the pronunciation changes, 손가락, 손가락, 발가락. Um, yeah, 발가락. So 가락, as you can see, and when you actually delete this, 수 plus 저, just 수저, 수저 means spoon and chopsticks. So when somebody says 수저 주세요, 수저 있어요, they're not talking about a spoon only. It, it depends on the regions, um, it, like in some regional dialects, 수저 can also just mean spoon, some, some places, but in standard Korean, when you say 수저, because it's 수 plus 저, it's spoon and chopsticks. All right, how do you say fork? 포크. And how do you say um, fork? The fork that's kind of shaped at the bottom like a spoon, that's a 포크 숟가락. Yeah. Okay, so Moving back, 젓가락 is chopsticks. I'm gonna type all the translations. Spoon, hair, fingers, toes, fork, um, fork. And because of the pronunciation, 포크, um, from fork, it can be a little bit confusing sometimes because um, 
cork is 돼지고기 is pork okay 돼지고기 돼지 is pig 고기 is meat but 돼지고기 is often just written as pork in Korean too so exactly the same so you have to when you read pork 90% of the time it'll be a fork but in some contexts it'll be pork ah is it spork okay yeah spork I never say this I never get to say it. sorry about that and um, yeah there you go it was um, to just engage participation right that was my plan <laughs> Mm. I know you guys love my typos, so, you know, I don't want to disappoint you with perfect spellings and all that. Um, yeah, I don't want to be too perfect. I sometimes get criticized by my coworkers for... <clears throat> anyway, um, 집다 is to pick up. 집다, 집어요. And, you, <laughs> you know, when you cook or eat, a salad. 집게 is tongs. 집게, tongs. It comes from 집다. Okay? Um, I believe there are tongs. Yeah, I'm just checking. Uh, and whenever I want to check something on the internet really quickly, the internet is super slow, right? You know, obviously. So, uh, 집, 집다, um, 젓가락으로 집다, to pick up food with chopsticks. 집어서 먹다, is to pick something up and eat. Um, usually, mm -hmm. usually, when you pick something up, you say 들다. Okay, 들다. So there are three words that you need to know about pick something up. Let me explain. So when you, for example, I'm holding this book, 책을 들고 있어요. 책을 들고 있어요. Something, okay, I, I drop, I'm gonna drop this book, okay? I'm gonna drop it. And then when somebody says, pick it up, they say, they don't say 들어요, they say 주어요, 줍다, okay? So when you pick something up from the floor, from the ground, or from, you know, somewhere lower, to pick it up, pick something up that you dropped is 줍다, okay? To pick something up that you dro dropped, that was dropped, either by you or somebody else. 들다 is to pick, uh, to lift something, to hold something, hold or to pick up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and 집다 is usually you're lifting something up, but a small portion, 집어요, you know, like this. Small portion or you are specifically going aiming for something like this. So for chopsticks to 들다, it does work, but 집다 is more accurate like that. Um, how is 들어요 conju 들다 conjugated? 들어요. 들어요. 들었어요. 들 거예요. 줍다 is conjugated like 주어요, 주었어요, 줄 거예요. 집다, 집어요, 집었어요, 집을 거예요. Okay? Aha, how to say to listen? To listen is 듣다. But 듣다, to listen is conjugated um, to the same one, 들어요, 들었어요, but 들을 거예요. Okay, I got a super chat comment from my wife. 
<laughs> thank you for the super chat comment. You should be asleep with the kids. Okay, because I saw her uh, right before I left the house. Thank you for the money to buy coffee after this. Okay, um, she, her money is my money, so it's just, you know, money circulation minus uh, the f fee for Google and all that. Like, we're basically giving uh, some, some fee to Google. Okay, uh, where was I? So, yes, 젓가락으로 집다. Do you understand the main trait of chipta? Chipta can be sim very similar to tilda or chupta that you dropped, but chipta is usually like you aim for something in a small area, all right? Okay. Here, we have five more expressions. I like it better this way. Do you as well? Um, just picking fewer phrases and going into details about these phrases. Cool. Mm, Undong Park. All right, here. I will cover this first because Undong Park actually gave us a really good question. The scooping up something with a spoon or some other uh, stuff, some other thing is. 뜨다, 뜨다, 숟가락으로 뜨다. 떠요, 떴어요, 뜰 거예요. 뜨다 can also, so as a transitive verb, 타동사, you know, you do something, like you have an object, 뜨다, 을 뜨다, um, to scoop something up. Like 숟가락으로, 숟가락으로 means with a spoon. 숟가락으로 떠요. When you go to Baskin Robbins 31, they have this scoop, 아이스크림을 떠요. Um, what else? 물을 떠요. You scoop up water. Okay? 을 뜨다. Okay? That's the transitive verb 뜨다. But as an intransitive verb, 자동사, 가 뜨다. It means to float to fly. So exactly like uh, Shady Hazard, Shay Hazard, uh, Shay Hazard said, float, yes, float, 배가, 배가 떴어요. The boat is a float. 비행기가 떴어요. The airplane is a float, is, yeah, in the air, like airborne, so 떴어요. Or you can also say, because it's in the air, you know, you think about popularity um, to become popular or usually popular like quickly. So, 그 가수는 갑자기 떴어요. The singer suddenly became a superstar. 갑자기 떴어요. 갑자기 떴어요. 뜨다 can also 자리를 뜨다. Someone left the place, like they, someone left. 갑자기 자리를 떴어요. 음, 눈을 뜨다. 눈을 뜨다 is, um, you could say it's related, but it's just a set expression for opening your eyes. You're not, like, don't even imagine scooping up eyes from, from a pool of eyes. <laughs> You, it, this, yeah, this will be a good <clears throat> wordplay, a pun, but yeah, 눈을, yeah, let's not imagine that, all right? You never heard me saying that. 눈을 뜨다 is just a fixed expression of opening your eyes. Princess Love, thank you for the super chat comment. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, oh, 띄워주다. Yeah, you now have a very vivid horrifying image in your head that will remain for the rest of the day. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> okay, before we move on to the uh, next one, I saw a really good comment. Oh, Mariana, there's an eye looking at me and a spoon <laughs> in the comment. Everyone, 
Yeah, look at that. That's a very nice visual reference. Um, Tiwajuta, who wrote Tiwajuta? Yeah, Habin. Okay. Tuda is to float, right? To fly. Okay. Um, Tiwuda is the causative form. Sayok Tongte Yeo. Tiwuda. Tiwuda. So you, the boat. Like let's let's talk about a paper boat, okay? You fold a nice paper boat, and you place it gently. 물 위에 놓는 거예요. 놓다 물 위에 놓아요. 떴어. The boat is afloat. You know it's not sinking. But the act of making the boat float on the water is 띄우다. 띄웠어요. 띄우다. So 띄우다 means to make something float. Make something like you. 비행기를 띄웠어요. You make an airplane fly, make a paper airplane fly. But 띄워주다, 띄워주다 is also to kind of flatter somebody, to make somebody hmm, full of themselves. Like, yeah, flatter, 띄워주다. Or to uh, sing high praise like in their face right in front of that person so you can say oh like you know don't flatter me too much I, my ego will grow too big it's already big enough you know or that person oh don't praise that person anymore uh, okay so that's a good expression that i saw lucas thank you for the super chat comment i appreciate it uh, i like the picture uh, mark Picked up. Uh, all right. What does 자리를 떴어요 mean again? So 자리 is your spot, your place, your seat. 뜨다 is to just, you know, you are detached. So it means to leave the place. All right. Okay. 칭찬하다 is compliment, but 띄우다 is a little bit too much. Like 띄우다. Oh, you're the best. Oh, hey, you should buy lunch because of that reason. That 띄우다. Um, four more expressions. 밥을 흘리다. 흘리다 is to spill, like 눈물을 흘리다, or 물을 흘리다, 정보를 흘리다. You spill some information, you leak some information. 밥을 흘리다, 눈물을 흘리다, 물을 흘리다, 정보를 흘리다. So for obvious reasons, uh, what is kitchen? 부엌. For obvious reasons, we say um, 흘리면 안 돼 to uh, our kids at home um, all the time. Don't spill it. You shouldn't spill it. Um, yeah. 흘리다. 흘렸어요. 흘릴 거예요. 흘리면 안 돼요. Yeah. Don't spill it. Okay? So 밥을 흘리다 means you're eating and you spill some rice, like you drop some grains of rice on the floor, on the table, 밥을 흘리다. Okay? Um, 흘리지 말고 먹어. Very common phrase that parents say to kids, 흘리지 말고 먹어. Oh, by the way, if you're a parent and if you want to say stuff to your kids in Korean, we have Parenting in Korean ebook. And um, it's super, super useful. So um, check it out. Uh, available on our store as well as on Google Play. Okay. Um, can, can you say 소식을 흘리다? Um, you could. Uh, you could in specific context. But 정보를 흘리다 is a very commonly used um, uh, set phrase. 소식을, you can, you can say it in a very specific situation. It depends on the other sentences. Okay. And, okay, here. 반찬을 놓다, 밥을 남기다, 삼키다 are three expressions that I want to cover because we've already been doing this for 40 minutes. Every time I do these live sessions, I really enjoy it and um, time flies. It's just crazy, right? Okay. 반찬을 놓다. 반찬 is side dishes. 
반찬, 반찬. When you go to the um, restaurants in Korea, it's quite clear what, which dishes are 반찬, which dish is the main dish. Uh, like, for example, if you order kimchi jjigae, kimchi jjigae is the main dish. Everything else that they give you is 반찬. In your household, it's a little blurry, which is your main dish, you know, because sometimes you just eat with a bunch of panchans and that's it. So, um, in English, you, you call them side dishes, but in when you look at it from a Korean-speaking perspective, panchan is not only like side dishes, but they're just stuff that you eat, the various things that you eat with your rice. I think that's a more accurate um, description. So. You can have the rice and three types of panchan, and that it's that's your main dish, right? So um, yeah. Uh, Brandon Chia, 선생님은 아침 선생님은 오늘 아침 뭐 먹었어요? A very good question. Um, 아직 안 먹었어요. <웃음> 그냥 차차 차 마시고 있어요. Lemon and ginger. 네. 레몬하고 진저 생강, 생강차. 그리고 제시. Thank you. Thank you man. Um for the super chat comment. You really don't have to, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Jesse from France. Um uh, my buddy. We we talk regularly on Instagram. So thank you. Um all right. Okay. 반찬 we're not talking about Bangchan. So if there's an idol member whose name is Bangchan, interesting. Okay, 반찬을 놓았어요. 반찬을 놓을 거예요. This is how how you 반찬을 놓아요. This is how you conjugate 놓다. Ah, oh, I see. 밥을 남기다, 남기다. 남다 is to to remain. So for example, I can say 18분 남았어요. I can say we have 18 minutes left. 남 남았어요, 남다. Like 학교 끝나고 남아. Like stay after the class. 남다, 남았어요. 어, 피자가 we still have some pizza left but you can also turn it into a causative uh, form which is 남기다 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 ki you put e he ri or ki to a verb to form a causative form 남기다 so to leave something to not finish something so 남기다 um, super chat comment. Princess Love, thank you. 안녕하세요. I'm a beginner in Korean. Thank you for the super chat comment. Uh, even though you are just starting out, um, you can visit our website at talktomeinkorean.com to start learning more. Thank you so much for your generosity. Okay. Um, 남기다. Yeah, we were here. 남기다. 남기. 남겨도 돼요. This is also something kids often say. Can I not finish my meal? Um, how often do you say this? How often do you hear it? 남겨도 돼요. Like it's it's so much. My firstborn, my big one, Jun, he says this or something along these lines so often. Like he doesn't, he never finishes his meals. Whereas our little one always finishes his, his, his meal and even eats his brothers. So, 남겨도 돼요? Okay, 남기다. I will answer 놓다 and 놓다. Alright. Oh, 남은 음식, yes. 남은 음식은 싸, 싸주세요. 남은 음식은 so 남은 음식, the leftover food, 싸주세요. Please pack it. Please, you know, 
put it in a bag. 남은 음식은 제가 싸갈게요. The leftover food, I'll take it with me. 싸다 is to wrap. Okay, leftover. Alright, 삼키다 is to swallow. Um, swallow. For some reason, I think this might be a very new vocabulary uh, word for you. 삼키다 is to swallow. And 삼켜치다. 삼켜치다 is to be swallowed. Or to be possible or can be. So if this is something that you say as a kid quite often. Um, 약이 안 삼켜져요. You know, when you're trying to swallow a pill, a tablet, and like it just, it's so hard. So, 약이 안 삼켜져요. Have you said this as a kid before? 약이 안 삼켜져요. Only water is going down the throat. Yeah. So, yeah. 삼키다. 삼키다. 삼켜지다. To be swallowed or can be swallowed. 약이 안 삼켜져요. Please repeat after me. 약이... <laughs> You're 21 and you still say it. 약이 안 삼켜져요. I can't swallow it. <clears throat> 약이 안 삼켜져요. Alright. Chewing is 씹다. 씹어요. 씹었어요. 구. <laughs> 씹다. So, um, 껌을 씹다. To chew a gum. 껌을 씹다. This word, it means chew. But, um, by the way, 시간 위해서님, 이 방송으로 영어 공부를 하시는군요. 방송을 정기적으로 하는데 시간표는 저희 인스타그램에 가면 있습니다. 네, 반갑습니다. 네, 그래서 Shipta is true, but it can also mean to ignore a text message. So, uh, for example, 준배 씨가 제 문자를 씹었어요. He Junbe ignored my text message. Okay, and you know when on iMessages and on Kakao Talk and on several platforms, you can see that the other person saw the message, right? Like, 읽음. You, you see, seen. Or, 읽음. And um, when somebody has seen it but hasn't replied to you, it's a uh, 익십. <laughs> this is just the casual um, jargon that people use. Okay. Oh, Megan Benjamin, thank you for another super chat comment. Um, Wow, um, you're one person, right? You can give us so many super chat, super chat, uh, super chats that I'm wondering if there are many Megan Benjamins or thank you. I'm just joking, half joking, but you wanted to say this in the last uh, live I made it to. I'd, however, I didn't make it to the last live session. You are such a great teacher and I really appreciate you. Kamsamida. Thank you for the message. I really appreciate your message. Kamsamida. 네. 고마워요. Okay. Only two um, pieces of information to introduce and then that's it for today everyone. Fasting. There are two words that you need to know, um, 금식 and 단식. Fasting is 금식 or 단식. 식 is eating, so if you are keeping, if you're participating in the Ramadan, you might want to know this, right? 식 is eating or food, and 단 means to cut. So when there's no water for the day. People also hear um, tansu anne, uh, hear announcements of about tansu, like water cut, like tan tanshik, tan. What else? Uh, chungdan. Chungdan is also when you're stopping something. Uh, um, so tan is 
that it's stopping. So, 한식. 금식 is, 금 means prohibition. You are forbidden to eat. You can't eat. Um, you're not allowed. So, because, uh, because of this difference, 한식 is usually used in protests, like um, when somebody is putting on a fasting protest, they're not eating and they are, you know, claiming something. That's 단식. Uh, and also, 단식 is used when you are, like, doing intermittent fasting, like 간헐적 단식. for dieting purposes, for losing weight. Wait a second. Um, Megan? Megan's message says, I save money just to send you super chat comments. Wow. That's so nice of you. 감사합니다. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Hunger strike. So, 단식. Um, so, you can say, hunger strike is 단식 투쟁. 투쟁 is um, as a fight, usually for a purpose, like a political purpose or a social change is your purpose. 단식 투쟁, hunger strike. 금식, so 단식 is this or that. 금식 is, however, more religious, you know, 금식 or more medical. So, Ohu 7시부터 금식하세요. This is what a doctor or, or, or a nurse will say to you when you have a um, medical checkup coming up the next day. 오후 7시부터 금식하세요. Don't eat anything past 7 p.m. So that's 금식. Okay? Um, Iron Fist. Thanks for the super chat comment. Uh, our biggest Marvel movie fan. Christian Bale is going to be in the new Thor film. Wow. I'm a big fan of Christian Bale. Awesome. I really liked uh, his Batman movie. And of course, all the other movies that he did. But And uh, another super chat comment. Precio, thank you so much um, for the super chat comment. Thank you for explaining fasting. Yes. So let me finish the explanation. So, 금식. so when you are fasting because of Ramadan, you, you say it's 금식. 금식 Ramadan. 기간이어서 금식하고 있어요. Um, because 기, 기간 means a time period. 이어서, because it is. So it's the Ramadan period. So I am fasting. 금식하고 있어요. This is um, how you say it. All right. And um, if you want to stop fasting, um, 단식을 중단하다 to stop fasting like, um, like yeah, 단식 투쟁을 stop the hunger strike and 금식이 끝났어요 the fasting period ended this is how you say it princess love Thank you for the super chat comment. We're getting a lot of super chats today. Thank you very much. Um, uh, the message says, I hope to visit Korea. I hope we can meet. Yes, I hope we can do some meetups where people can hang out. We can hang out with you guys. We've done some before. And um, in the current situation, in these times, I know there's no promise of when we will have a meetup. But um, I, I believe that th this will happen in the future. I believe there will be a day when everybody's like free to travel again. And I know all of you are like really looking forward to traveling to Korea. And um, yeah, Korea is a great place to live in and travel in and work in. So I hope many more people will experience a little bit of life in Korea. I mean, I want to experience more of life in other countries, life in other places too. So, you know, we don't, you don't want to be in one place forever. So, hopefully we will all have 
freedom to travel. And in the meantime, um, in the meantime, if you have specific places that you want to see, did you did you watch our Hongdae drive-through like joyride video? I really really enjoyed filming that one uh, and um, also watching it again. Yeah, um, whenever you want to, whenever you miss Hongdae, that that's the purpose of those videos like whenever you miss a certain place maybe you can go back to that video and just watch it again we want to do Gangnam we want to do um, other like major areas so we don't want to do too many though like <laughs> some people might think you, you guys are not teaching Korean only doing drive-thru videos but yeah we want to do more Itaewon yeah we had a very unfortunate situation in Itaewon, as you probably heard. Um, so we were almost down to we were down to zero new cases, uh, and suddenly we had some new cases coming out of a club in Itaewon. So a lot of people have, yeah, some regrets over that. Yeah. So yeah, somebody. We were down to zero, zero new cases, zero new cases, zero new cases, like for several days, and everybody was a little bit, maybe too complacent. And um, I mean, even before that, these clubs were still opening and um, hundreds of people were dancing inside like small rooms and all that. But then they were lucky because nobody got infected. But one day um, over the long, holiday weekend last weekend um, one person with the virus went there and then now like 40 something people are infected through that person who you know who was in the nightclub in the in the club dancing with the, with that person so and apparently many people from many areas had traveled to go to that super popular club so we'll see but I'm optimistic about this because the government is tracking down everybody really really well and um, it's not like totally out of control yeah yeah so if you if you're interested in that uh, part of the news look it up please um, it's an interesting development and unfortunate too um, cadenza fire thank you for the super comment um, I hope to visit Korea next spring for my birthday. My birthday is in November, but I want to see Potgot. Yes, Potgot is everywhere. The cherry blossoms and they are so pretty. And there are some trees, of course, that are only pretty for one season. You know, they only like, it, it's as if the purpose of their existence is just to look pretty in that season. Excuse me. Mm. <coughs> I think it's those trees attacking me, virtually. Um, so there are trees like that, but Pakot is pretty all year round. All right. Um, so I have one more. <laughs> Wait, should be below. Um, okay. One more set of words that I want to compare before I go. Okay. Nota, very easy. Nota is to put something somewhere, to place something somewhere. Nota is to put something in, okay? Nota, nosel, nosel. If you put it like that, they sound very similar, but because of the conjugations that are quite different, they are not so confusing. So. In all of the con conjugations, uh, here is mute. You don't pronounce it. Um, of course, it affects other consonants that follow, like no ta. It becomes a t sound or t sound. No ko, hyeok sound. Um, 
So 놓았어요. I put it somewhere. 넣었어요. I put it in somewhere. 놓아요. Put it. I put it. 넣어요. I put it in. In the present tense and the future tense. Okay. Josie uh, Mize or Mize. Thank you for the super chat comment. Um, when do you think would be the best time to visit Korea for cherry blossoms? Um, March? Yes, March. And um, if you want the maximum, like the fullest kind of experience for hopefully next year, stay for at least a week. And usually, I don't know why, but it tends to rain more. This is a very unscientific scientific remark, but from my experience, it tends to rain more often over the weekend. I don't know why. Like whenever people want to hang out, it, it rains. So just stay, come, come in like on a weekday and stay over the weekend and yeah, leave during the week. And it, once it rains, all the cherry blossoms or half of the cherry blossoms will, will fall. So you will miss the chance. So just try to stay for at least one week. And <laughs> Sunday becomes ironic. <laughs> All right. Um, is the May live stream schedule the same as April? No, we've changed the schedule and we've announced it on Instagram. We will. I will actually repost the schedule as a reminder. But yeah, the schedule is different. Mm -hmm. um, Princess Love, thank you for the super chat comment. You're spending too much money today. That, that's it, okay? <laughs> 더 이상 보내지 마세요. Don't send me anymore. Um, 감사합니다. I am on TMIK level 1, lesson 5. Oh, okay. You take a few more lessons and you'll be able to feel more confident. Uh, yeah, so we have a Discord. Go to, well, I'll put the link in the description we have a we can you can search for it i think we have a discord chat server where you can chat with fellow learners and see updates and we recently opened a french channel where french speakers who are learning korean can ask questions in french or for people who want to practice french can also go there too um megan um you have your birthday coming up. When exactly is it? First of all, happy birthday. 생일 축하해요. 생일 축하합니다. When exactly is your birthday? Let me know. 생일 정말 축하합니다. Oh, yeah, I'm looking for Megan's follow-up comment. <laughs> Happy birthday. So, 생축. This is something that like close friends can send. Like, 생일 축하해. Instead of saying 생일 축하해, they say 생축. Um, between, yeah, really close friends. All right, guys. Um, I can't, I don't see Megan's follow-up comment. Feel better. Okay, this is a good one. I will explain. All right, um, Rosie L says, uh, 선생님, 남아공에서, 안녕하세요. 남아공에서 인사드립니다. Is a very more, much more natural expression. 인사드립니다. 여기 어, 오전 1시 40분이고 한국어 공부하는 데 완벽한 시간이에요. 그런데 이제 야식 먹고 싶어요. 이 라이브 때문에요. <laughs> um, I think ramen is the best kind of midnight snack. You became hungry because of this this live class. Josie, um, where's the comment? Super chat comment again, thank you. Um, the message says, a little off topic, um, for my brother who is trying to learn Japanese, are there any websites or curriculums you would suggest? Mm. Websites for Japanese. Uh, I would recommend, mm, there are lots of, podcasts that you can listen to for Japanese. It's been a while since I studied Japanese uh, 
last time, so I don't know what good websites there are. Try Japanese Pod 101. Um, that's, I think, the biggest still. And um, I don't know. I, I think we, we get a lot of questions about Japanese because we're teaching Korean and people know that Korean and Japanese are quite similar in grammar structure, but we have no plans to teach Japanese, uh, just for your reference. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about my lack of information when it comes to Japanese, but when I was learning Japanese, uh, fortunately in Korea there are a ton of Japanese teaching books that are available in Korea. Unlike Spanish or French, for those languages it's always better to learn those languages in English, even for Koreans, but Japanese and Chinese there are like tons of books. So it's much easier. Okay. All right. Um, oops. 5월 8일이었군요. 어버이날. In Korea, Megan, happy birthday, happy belated birthday. 늦었지만 생일 축하해요. Happy belated birthday. You don't have to change this into the past tense. 생일 축하해요 is, is a set phrase, happy birthday. 축하하다 is to congratulate somebody on something. 늦었지만, even though it's late, 생일 축하해요. 늦었지만 생일 축하해요. It's also, this is also a set phrase. You just say it like this. Um, happy belated birthday. 5월 8일, last Friday. Uh, the 8th of May in Korea is 어버이날, parents day. So, Easy to remember. Uh, Precio, easy and to chew sound similar. Ah, to be easy. Yes, but shipta. Let me say it a few times. Shipta, shipta, shipta. 쉽다, 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 쉽다. And uh, fortunately, when you conjugate it, they're different. Like, 쉬워요, 쉬웠어요. 쉽다 is uh, a rare, a regular verb when uh, with, with the P of. 씹어요, 씹어요, All right. Um, how to find the French channel? I will put the link in the description right after this session is over, or I can actually give it to you right now, Discord. So everyone, this is our Discord invite. How do, okay, invite. Uh, you can go here. Can go there. <laughs> How can you say it was easy to chew? Shipki shiwaso. It was easy to chew. Okay, um, okay, uh, I, I forgot something. This is actually the last, really the last question that I'm going to answer. No more questions, and um, I will go. Feel better is Ali Naoseo. Get better soon. Feel better soon. Okay, All right, this is a very common thing you say. Um, everyone, thanks so much for joining today and for all the super chat comments. And uh, we got more. Uh, really? Okay, I got a message from my co worker right now that I missed one super chat comment. Oh, yeah. Mayo nerd, um, thank you for the super chat comment. I'm sorry about missing your comment. I, I almost like closed the window without seeing yours. <clears throat> sorry to ask you about this, but uh, what did you find about taking too much coffee? Well, 
Today, I'm not drinking coffee. Yesterday, I had no coffee. Normally, I have two cups of coffee every day. I just, um, <clears throat> what I found before is when you drink coffee, your energy goes up and then it goes down for sure. It's bound to go down. And then when at the low point, you drink another cup of coffee and you go, it goes up. But sometimes I enjoy it. So um, I have a video on my personal channel where I quit coffee for six weeks and actually talk about um, the effects. And I want to do that again. So I'm drinking no coffee. I want to just enjoy the constant level of energy. And um, yeah. All right, guys. That's it. See, es todo por hoy. That's it for now, and I, I will see you guys next time. And tomorrow, another teacher will come. And like every day, we have a different teacher doing the live sessions. And I will also post it on our Instagram account. Please visit Instagram at TTMIK. You will see our videos other types of materials as, the, as well and other announcements there. I'm really going to go. 진짜로 이제 갈게요. 안녕히 계세요. 바이바이.